Welcome back, everybody. It's great to be here once again. I'm going to make this as quick as I possibly can. I don't think it needs a lot of uh, going over, so to speak. But we're going to go over Luke 4-4 for just one moment. I think most people know about Luke 4-4. Let me count for something for a second here. I'm just going to... I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do in a second. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Stephen, what are you doing? No, nothing. Nothing at all. 13 major translations of the Bible after the 1963 after the Second Vatican Council. Six of those being Catholic Bibles. Change this verse. And I'm going to read you this verse. Luke chapter 4, verse 4. And Jesus answered him, saying, it is written that man shall not live by bread alone, comma, but every word of God. You can refer back to Deuteronomy 8.3. It talks about the same thing with the bread. Now, here's the thing. All these other versions, they take this out. They, they, they change it. So it is written that man shall not live by bread alone. They stop there. Not those exact words, only by bread. And some say that uh, bread is the only thing man needs and all of this. They keep changing that over and over again. And they go through all of them. And somebody's going to say, Catholic Bible doesn't change. It's not true, not true. Uh, yeah, true, true. Unless the Catholic Church, the Vatican is an idiot and morons, which, by the way, I think that they are in some cases. In other cases, they're just straight up evil. That's all there is to it. Not gonna play games with this. I'm getting a little shadow here. I guess the sun's going behind that cloud, so I apologize for the uh, the uh, uh, um, viewing capabilities. But the Bibles that were okayed by the Vatican, they have the impr imprinter on it. They have given their okay. They say yes. We, as a Catholic Church, approve these. So you approve taking the God out of it. So therefore, all of those versions, out of all of those newer versions after the Second Vatican Council, they don't trust God. And they're telling you, you can't live by the word of God. Well, it says in other places, why don't you have it there? Why don't you leave it in there then? What is the problem? If you leave it in Deuteronomy 8, uh, chapter 8, verse 3, why don't you leave it in 4.4? 4? That's a problem, isn't it? That's a huge problem. You can go back, and if and that's after then. Uh, you can go back to the Westcott, uh, Westcott, the West Cotton Hort, and that's 1881 when they did their RV, their revision version, what we want to call it, which led to the 1901 version of the ASV, and then that led into the RSV and the Amplified Bible, and the um, oh, what is it, um, New American Standard Bible in '71. Even the World English Bible, which came out in 2020, is actually a revision of the 1901 ASB. So ask yourself a question. Whether you're a Protestant or a Catholic, and you're reading the, the NIVs and, and the NIRVs and all this nonsense, ask yourself a simple question. Why take God out? If you have better transcripts, and you have better manuscripts, and you have better information, are you saying that that better information says to remove God, you would think it would add God, but apparently it takes away God? Obviously not. And we've talked about this before. If, they, if you're going to rely on the uh, Biblia, oh, goodness sakes now, the Hebraic Biblia uh, uh, Stugartensia and the Novum Graecia, if you're going to go by all of that, which is a modern version, then, yeah, you're not going to get the truth. So it's really, really simple. All of the modern ver versions don't trust God. They don't believe that you can rely on God. Because they have to go to your pastor, your priest, your preacher. Now, I'm not fend I'm not going to go, well, yeah, you know what? I'll just go ahead and fend them. I don't really care. If they're not running by the truth, they're not running by the truth. If they are going to put up Bibles that make you rely on them for answers, you have to go to them and not the Bible, you got a major problem here. A major problem. So I guess I, uh, that was my little rant there for a little bit. But think about that. So when Protestants and Catholic argue all the time, well, your Bible, your Bi both of you. After the King James, both of you. And by the way, Catholic Church, which gets uh, offended with the Dewey Reams, um, I have to answer a gentleman who, who might be watching this video. You made a comment on, on a, uh, a comment on one of my comments. I'm not mad at you. I, I will respond to you momentarily. But... 
people don't understand the new, the new Dewey rings, the old Dewey rings are not the same Dewey rings. So when you say, I have the Dewey rings, it doesn't, well, do you have the right Dewey rings? Because it's two different Dewey rings. No, there's not. Yeah, actually, when they revised it, they took out parts of it. So you have to ask yourself, what are you following? So when Catholics and Protestants argue, both of you have changed the Word of God in all your modern versions. So you're both in sin. And that's it for me today. I appreciate it. God bless and have a beautiful evening.